I haven't been feeling great the past couple of days, which is why I haven't filmed. I also haven't done anything. I went to class, I went to work, I went to class and work. Um, I did go to my academic counseling and I'm essentially done with my AAT for psychology, but I'm gonna see if I can get one in English because I don't know whether I want to do dance therapy or if I wanna teach English as a second language. I just, I don't know. So I need to get my English degree and then take the teaching English as a foreign language test. TEFL? Hopefully. TEFL. One of them. I'm excited for that. Kind of. I'm feeling a little better. I haven't cried yet today, so... There's still like 12 more hours of the day in which to cry, but making it this far, it's a record for this month. It truly is. Yeah. Hello, don't mind the hair. I uh, haven't done anything to it all day and I'm doing laundry. But I've also been reading Hearts Invisible Furies. And it's great. It's um, it's a really good book. Really enjoyed it. The problem I'm currently having is we've now reached the AIDS bit. As one does when one reads or watches anything to do with uh, gay culture that happens around the 80s, you end up in the AIDS part, which is my least favorite part every single time. I don't know anybody with AIDS or HIV, or if I do know or I did know, then I didn't know they had it, which is like fine. It's like not my business to know who had it and who, who didn't or whatever. But the point is, I don't know why it's so extremely distressing to me to read those bits or to see those bits. In House of Boys, which is the first ever piece of media that I had that had to do with gay sex workers, the only other media up until I watched that, because I watched that freshman year of high school. You know what? That might have been the first piece of media I'd ever consumed that had to do with the LGBTQ community, just at all. I'm not sure if it's the best introduction to it, uh, but it is a introduction or an introduction. I know how to speak English. Might be part of the reason why it hits me so hard, because that was like my introduction to the whole thing. But like, I don't know anybody personally who has gone through that, so I don't know why it affects me as much as it does. I was 
gonna hang up my laundry and talk more, but I can't do both at once. But eventually, so, okay, what was I talking about? Oh, I don't know why it affects me so much. I think I might just be strongly affected by the idea of death within the LGBTQ community because my first experience with both of those paths crossing over was freshman year of high school, around the same time that I watched um, House of Boys, which if you haven't seen it, it's not a bad movie. I don't know where you can find it anymore. It's, uh, I haven't seen it since the, the that time that I watched it, so I don't actually remember if it was good or not, um, but it definitely, the second half of it dealt heavily with AIDS. I think they were in like Germany or something. I don't know, but anyway, the first time that those two crossed over in my own life, was with the death of Hannah. And I don't know if I've ever like fully thought about that before, but anyway, whenever I read LGBTQ literature, I try to stay away from the coming of age and uh, the bits that revolve around AIDS because they distress me. <laughs> and I think the coming of age distresses me because my coming of age, I felt like it didn't happen the way it happens in books and stories and movies and whatnot. Also that it hasn't happened yet, you know? And then there's also the whole death part it's just, there's something about, I don't know how to make this into words. Anyway, it hit me harder than I thought it would because I actually kind of hated that character. Um, but now, now he's gone. But then also, there's a problem with like homophobia in that time period. And I would also like to draw out the connections between Nixon and AIDS and Trump and coronavirus. Uh, sure, coronavirus and AIDS are two very separate things, um, but they are both viruses or they develop from viruses. And the whole perception of them in the beginning was very much the same. I'm not gay, it can't happen to me. I'm not Asian, it can't happen to me. But it affects everybody. And I think it took longer for people to realize that with AIDS than it has done with coronavirus, but I definitely think there is a connection if you look at it historically. Less about the virus itself and more about society's reaction to the virus. I don't know, but reading that chapter, it, it also hurts that we jump from 1887, no, no, 1987 to 1994. So there's like a whole bunch of years that we've just skipped and it, the chapter ends I'm mostly upset about this the chapter ends with Bastion and Cyril Bastion's comforting Cyril after Julian died and and then there's just three people who come up and I'm pretty sure they assault him and now I'm wondering the book goes on so Cyril's still alive Bastion better be fucking okay or I I don't know I have to read the rest of the book because it's for school but I don't know if I can handle that and Inyak is there and, and they were a family and they finally got to be a family and then apparently there's a Liam, Alice had a kid, but, and I want Emily to fucking leave. I don't know, it just, the whole chapter affected me a whole lot more than I thought it would and I don't know how to process and continue. I'm gonna do my laundry. It's really freaking early. It's also kind of cold right now. There's supposed to be snow at home. Also, everyone's afraid of the coronavirus, and so they're ordering online, which makes um, us workers have to work overtime. I don't think people with uh, jobs that can work from home really understand people in retail and their issues with the coronavirus. Also, we don't get any sort of like sick pay leave should we get sick, and if 
the company closes its doors for the length of the pandemic, we don't get paid. We're part-time workers. We don't have sick leave or it wouldn't be unemployment and sick leave only, I have 24 hours of sick leave. So if we're closed for two, three weeks, I get paid for one 24 hour period. <laughs> so that's, California needs to up its game on, you know, part-time worker employee benefits or whatever. Take up for look. Uh, tell me. <laughs> okay, I need to get another. I just like to point out a thing about self-isolating for people who work in the service industry. It's not possible. It'll only be possible if other people start to self-isolate. If I self-isolate, I lose my job. I need my job. But the store will close if people stop coming in. So if you're gonna get on anybody about self-isolating, get on yourself and don't go to a store. Don't go out to eat. Don't go to a store. Don't go out to the movies. Like if you're going to self-isolate and then, or if you're gonna go out and then complain about people in the service industry not self-isolating, you need to get your priorities straight because we can't if you're here. So there's a really high possibility of snow right now and I don't want to get snowed out without any clothes. So I'm going to pack clothes. <laughs> wow, it's a mess. It's actually just right there. The rest of my room is actually, it's cleaner than it was yesterday. So let's just put it that way. Um, there's still clothes all over the floor, but I need to pack and then I'm going to go to work. Yeah. Welcome back to this life where I'm now in a hotel because I've been snowed out of my house. So, work has been a bit crazy. Um, everybody's freaking out about, out about the coronavirus. And then there's a winter storm warning. So I'm snowed out of my house. I've been staying at a hotel. Uh, this is my last class on campus and then it's completely online. I don't have access to my laptop because it's at home, but I do have my iPad so I can get some stuff done. I just can't get everything done, which isn't super helpful because I have stuff that's due tomorrow that I haven't even started yet because work got really crazy. We'll figure it out. I really have to pee. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go back to the hotel tonight and we'll see about tomorrow. It looks like it's gonna be super crazy at, at work and I don't know when my midterm is. I think it's next, it's, it's tomorrow as well, I think. I'm gonna have to double check that, like seriously double check that. So yeah, it's been uh, crazy. I don't think I'm sick. I feel warm, but it could just be because my hands are always cold. <laughs> Other than like a sniffy nose, I'm fine, I think. Who knows? in a new hotel for tonight uh, and this time my mother was like oh I'll help you out because you've been in a hotel for three three days now and uh, that's not something you can afford so thank you but also like it, it feels like this bed is too big for this room also it's really weirdly lit you can't really tell this 
This one is giving me creep vibes. The doors seem to be like not well thought out. You can't open more than one at a time. It's so dark. But you know, I'm not paying for it, so I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna turn on all the lights and see what happens. Oh, I like that light. Let's turn on some more. There's so many lamps in here. There's a kitchen? It's like half of these things were designed for a different room setup. I put this back in. I don't want it out. That works. Okay. Turning on more lights. Like there's not there's not enough space. This light switch is in the corner. There's not enough space around the bed. How do I turn this on? How do I turn it on? Oh, there you are. There we go. You gotta you gotta finagle this this thing. You can only have it closed like it'll. There's there's one door and it it probably should be two. Um. The floors are really sticky. And then there's this bathroom. There's no light in here. Oh, wait, there is. I found a light switch. Very rarely incorporated into the body of music that we're using. You've done it so well. Inception. So yeah, that's all the lights on. It's still really dark. It's super warm in here. I'm on the ground floor, so all of my windows closed. Normally I would open a window. I, why do I have a kitchen? Plates though, so that was more than I was expecting. I still think I'm gonna use paper plates. I bought myself some vegan burritos. I was expecting a tiny freezer. I have a huge freezer, so we're gonna go with that. I'm actually taller than the freezer, so cool. There it is. Putting it in there. Is there another light? What does this turn on? Oh, is it is there a garbage disposal? <coughs> yes, there is. Okay. Oh, there's another light. Okay. Well, I'm done wondering what, what is this? <laughs> there's like a little table and a futon. Um, I have no need for that. I'm literally I could have just had one room. I would have been fine with one room. Okay. Can I just turn this on? Well, I'm gonna cut up my dinner. I'm gonna have some dinner. And I don't, I'm a little confused because my parking pass is only for one day, but I'm supposed to stay until the 20th and it's only the 18th, so I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Maybe I'll ask for a new one when I'm at the desk tomorrow. I'm just, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna sit in my bed and just either watch a drama or watch YouTube. I don't know, but you know. It's happening. So I uh, am back in the hotel room and I need to do homework because I have an exam today. But I was at work for 13 hours, so it better be reflected in my paycheck. If it's not, I'm gonna be real mad. Okay, to do exam two, it's due by midnight, it is. Eight o'clock. Oh, I need to. Oh, I forgot to bring charger in from the car. I'll do that after I. Okay, time to get going. <laughs> okay, go. So I did it. I don't feel great about it, but I did it. So there's that. I got two more things to do. They're due tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna drive home, pick up some stuff, then drive back. I don't have work tomorrow. I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> I'm gonna have dinner first. I've been staying vegan for this week, so there's that. Do it! Do it! Do it!
Can you write a review? What's your review? The cheddar jack is there. The jalapeno is not. Mm hmm it Tastes like a chip. Disappointing. Video and then just pan it up like that. <laughs> oh, look at all that extra protein! Ew. Just so that people know. Bugs. 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 Welcome to day too many of waking up at 2 in the morning uh, to work on a morning shift, a 12 hour shift. Ah, silent screaming because there are people in the house. I'm blocking the sun like that because I don't want to block the sun from my plants. And also, I'd like to be able to see my uh, my screen from my lecture uh, without the sun shining off of the shiny bit and going pssst. So, there's that. Ooh, today, this would be a really great time to have another snack because I'm studying. I'm studying sleep. Also, I've got a few other um, internal regulations, mammalian temperature control, fluid balance, sheep brain, uh, coronal sections, the ABCs of LGBT. I need to get that done. That's going to be a while. I think I'm going to have to bring my iPad into work and do it on my lunch breaks. My hands are peeling apart. It's fine. That's what happens when you wash your hands every 20 minutes. Um, I learned that from a dear roommate of mine, but now I have to do it for work, so they're falling apart. And I'm actually picking at them because why not? Also, I found a really cool website called uh, Colors C or Coolers C O O L O R S N. It, it just uh, generates color schemes and I've been using the color schemes for my notes so my notes look damn good both with highlighting highlight colors and like text colors so I'm just saying it's a great <laughs> it's a really good app that's a website c-o-o-l-o-r-s dot co not spawn just I found it because I wanted to make my notes look nicer and if that yeah wow I went that I went there um I started wearing my retainer again except um past Patrick called me from work yesterday and I picked up and I still have my retainer in and that was embarrassing because wow I can't talk in it okay well I'm gonna keep going because we're at 1130 and I'm only one chapter in and I need to get three chapters done because my next day off is 